What? Yo, what's good? Watch out, watch out over the Bro, say something, bro. What kind of man doesn't approach woman anymore? It's called beta male. I'm kidding. Kinda. But what is it? Y'all scared? Oh, hell no. Okay. Real talk. Y'all telling me y'all wouldn't holler at her? <laughs> Y'all need Jesus and the confidence creator. So today, we're going to talk about why men don't approach women anymore. And we're starting right now. Rim low on my fitted. Uh, drinks always been vivid. Uh, I'm just trying to go get it. Catch me right around and I'm ignorant. I'm just rolling. rolling riding, riding. Buy my t-shirt, little bitch. So tell him get on my level, ho. I'm burning up, see I'm hotter than where the devil go. It ain't enough till I'm burning down. Men don't approach you in LA. 100% no. So, Absolutely not. Exactly. Especially when you're pretty too. They're like, uh, no. Yeah, and it, being plus size is like a whole nother yes. thing. Yes. Oh my God, girl. So I don't that's I know why it. I feel like I only meet men like on jobs yeah. or online. Okay. So, I mean, I, I would go out with my friends quite often and the... The entire time I've lived in LA, I've had definitely less than 10 men approach me. Definitely wow. less than 10. Wow. How long have you lived in LA? Uh, eight years. To the ladies on this channel, I'll address you first. The average man has always been afraid to approach women, but social media has given guys a reason not to even try. You ladies wonder why you only attract male thoughts. The answer is simple. Most men that talk to a lot of women don't think you're special. And until you prove them wrong, you're just like any other girl to them. But the average man is afraid to approach women. So you need to make yourself look a little more friendly and flirty if you're trying to find a guy that isn't a hoe. And most of you ladies don't even know how to flirt. Or you just have a resting bitch face, which doesn't intimidate me. But for the average guy, it's a red flag. You're also never in the moment, always on your phone. Doesn't intimidate me. I'll straight look at you right in your eyes and say, you texting me? And you'll laugh and say, no. And I'll just look at you and say, why not? That boy is good. It's that simple. But for the average guy, he's not going to approach you if you're on your phone. And ladies, you also got to get in the gym. You got to get that weight down. The bigger you get, the fewer options you have. And the longer you wait, the older you get, the fewer options you have. When I go to the gym, I only see one or two black women. And I don't know who came up with this everyone is beautiful BS, but you're competing with other women to find a husband. Remember, that same friend that's telling you you're beautiful just the way you are is the friend you're competing with for male attention when you guys go out together. So fix it. Like rejection is is definitely feared out here in LA because like there's been times where like a girl fell and I helped her up and she's like Ugh, and I was just like wow, ladies y'all scaring these men out here and I'm gonna be honest with you this has happened to me a few times in the past one time there was a girl that was attractive I'm not gonna lie and she must have just came from out of the bathroom at Walmart because she had tissue stuck to her foot and when I started walking towards her she said don't talk to me and I said cool. But you kind of look stupid with that tissue stuck to your feet. Oh! And when she realized that I was right, she apologized. And I got the number right after. My nigga. <laughs> Communication, like like even going into the elevator the other day, I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? And this girl's like, and I'm just thinking like, I'm, and I'm just a friendly person. You know, my mom taught me to speak to people. Like yeah. all my friends from Alabama. But that like, I noticed that like, and it might not be like the prettier shit, like anything like that, but I do notice like a level of like, don't talk to me, you know, like yeah. there's like a, well, there's like a extension in the air okay. that's out here. And that, I'm going to tell you why that's that is like that. that. And so I can see someone not approaching you because they're like, wow, she's a beautiful woman and I don't want to say something. And then she's just like, like, you don't want to feel, you don't want your day to be fucked up because you said hello to somebody. You well, know? I think that's a chance you got to take if you think somebody fired. Well, but, but, but men aren't taking that chance, so we need to figure something else out. What I'm saying is, like, after you take two chances and you find out that that fire is fire, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? you like, all right, you know what? How many times you going to touch the stove, you know? I feel him on that, even though a real one doesn't mind the heat. 
I'm just curious to pose the question, I guess, back to you guys is, do you think things will change where girls are going to feel like I don't get approached anymore and they're going to start approaching guys and that's going to be the norm? Or do you think things will just soften up a little bit and it'll be more acceptable to be, hey, how you doing? Oh, I see you fall. Let me yeah, help you yeah. out. It's, it's <laughs> only going to get worse. It's you think so? Worse. I think, I think so, too. To- yeah, fellas, women will never start approaching men. They can't take rejection well. They're also more fearful than men. A girl can try to act tough with you when you're arguing and later on see a little ass roach and run and hide. It's kind of scary. Like sometimes you you can't really respond to men because you just, I I don't know that sometimes men realize the boundary, not all men, but some men don't realize like just because I spoke to you and I said, hello does not mean follow me. Yeah. See, we don't know. You don't know, you know, and and that, and that's just sometimes they means follow you like, Hey, yeah. Right. Exactly. And ladies, you have to understand that's confusing as shit because how do I know if I'm your type or not unless I approach you? Honestly, if you ask me, I'm everybody's type. Nigga, please. But here's my advice for the fellas. It seems like men and women today prefer to sit back high, send DMs, and then when you talk to them in person, it's a whole nother ball game. They're not as confident. They don't communicate the same way that they do online. They they real active online, but in person, it's a whole another dynamic. You looking the way you do, being as beautiful as you are, being awesome and all of this other type of stuff, right? Being as social as you are. What's your experience as far as people really coming up to you and saying, petitioning, coming up to you and say, hey, you beautiful, hey, let me talk to you for a minute. Hey, excuse me, can I whatever right versus the online interactions is it totally disproportionate it is like that yeah man a lot of women feel like this and it's unfortunate because fellas the best way to meet attractive women is by approaching them especially if you're an average looking guy Honestly, an attractive woman has a lot of options on the internet, but when you meet them in person, you can let your personality show. So she's not just going based off of looks, she's going off of personality too. And if you're a charming, funny guy, it'll raise your sexual market value. Yeah, That can't be true. That can't be true. true. Oh, and see, I'm I'm with you. I'm old school. I didn't even get a cell phone until I was 17 years old. So I come from that generation where if you wanted to shoot your shot, yep. you know, the fellas had to come had to come speak. There was no way around it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The, the biggest extent it could go was maybe his friend might mention something for him. No, you got to speak for yourself. Don't ever send another man to talk for you. It just makes you look scared. You know, if, if I'm out and about and a man is like, oh, you look nice today or... I'm smiling. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, good. You better. You know what I'm saying? I don't did all this and I walk past you. You better look. You better say something. You better, you know. Well, the assumption is that you just get it all the time just because, right? Yeah. But I I think there is a psychological thing, too, where if you're a very attractive woman or you're a model, I mean, let's be honest, if you're a model, you're kind of like top tier like as far as at least your face symmetry and all that Mm -hmm. where a lot of guys will be like oh they're really pretty they're they're beautiful i'm sure guys approach them all the time and then there's this drop off where they actually get approached less yeah there's actually real statistics that like the really top beautiful girls they get approached less oftentimes the girls who look good don't get hit on as much because guys think they're out of their league so it's literally no competition, fellas. And that's where I come in and I clean up. I can probably count on one hand the amount of times where I'm out somewhere and a man just come straight to me in my face like, what's up? And most of the time it'll be, you know, I saw you here or... Ah, you know, come that, on, that's what makes it worse to me. That's like, don't crazy. See woman, don't see the woman and they be like, oh, I saw you at so... But why you ain't say nothing? Fellas, that's corny. We got to get out of that habit. Confident men don't mind if a woman is feeling them or not. I've walked up to groups of women and tried to talk to all of them because the worst thing they can say is Some of the baddest women I've dated was from in-person interactions. Besides, you're not going to die if a woman says she's not interested. 
And the thing is, the more approaches you make, the better at it you'll get. Besides, most of you guys trying to do internet dating, profiles are horrible. So if you're not going to take my advice and try to talk to women in person, at least take my free advice and fix your profile up using my how to get more matches on Tinder video. It works for other forms of social media too. I'm out.